College campuses across the country have been working to raise awareness and combat sexual assault. And tonight, Elmira College will host a special guest to speak on the subject. WENY's Natalie Abruzzo is live in the studio with more about tonight's event and the college's role in protecting its students. Natalie. Ross, Catherine Costner, the executive director of Take Back the Night Foundation, will speak about student safety and wellness issues tonight at Elmira College in Meyer Hall. Costner was the first victim of date rape to speak out nationally and publicly about her experience at the College of William and Mary. The college is stepping up its student services outreach, making sure it's creating an environment where students feel safe and knowledgeable, and making them aware of the support system services available on campus as well as their off-campus relationships. Everything from the Clark Health Center to student affairs staff who are trained in how to work with students who are victims of sexual misconduct or sexual Assault. In 2014, the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights cited Elmira College on a list of higher education campuses across the country as being under federal investigation over concerns about how they handled sexual assault cases on their campus. Colleges are required under the Gender Equity Law, Title IX, to investigate and respond to reports of sexual assault and harassment on campus. If a school is not compliant with the Title IX, it could lose federal funding for the school. Tonight's event begins at 6 p.m. and is free and open to the public. And with today's speaker, it's providing those educational opportunities for students to know they're not alone. It's providing an opportunity for students to realize that if they are a victim of any form of sexual misconduct, that there are services here that can help them, the, st the institutions here to support them. And there are, are survivors out there like them that are there to help and provide support for them. Elmira did comment on past sexual misconduct issues on campus. They said, out of respect for the confidentiality of our students, it would be inappropriate for the college to distribute statistics of Title IX incidents. And on the allegations of the ongoing Department of Education investigations, the college said, while an investigation has been conducted in reference to a past sexual misconduct issue in 2014, the college has fully complied with the Department of Education and the Office of Civil Rights on the matter. The the college has new leadership in place and is renewing its focus on these matters to create an environment where students feel comfortable coming forward to address issues of sexual violence. Reporting in the studio, Natalie Abruzzo, WENY News.